guys, it's your girl Rashida with another episode of Miss Goody's Kitchen. On today's episode, we're making tacos. So today we're gonna be making a pulled barbecue chicken taco with an Asian slaw. So I'm really excited about this recipe. Let's get right into it. All right guys, so let's go over some of these ingredients. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna season my chicken with some regular household seasonings. So for me, I'm gonna use a little bit of jerk seasoning. I have the dry rub, some adobo, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of ground ginger, but whatever you like to season your chicken with, you can use that. And then of course, for the barbecue part, I'm using my favorite barbecue sauce, which happens to be Sweet Baby Ray's. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of soy sauce in that um, dressing as well for the chicken. And then for our slaw, I'm gonna be using the purple cabbage or red cabbage, whatever you like to call it, with a little bit of sliced carrots, some cilantro, some red onions, and again, some ginger, and a little bit of soy sauce as well. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you guys how I put that all together. So here you can see these. This is how it looks after being on the grill for, I wanna say about a minute. It has light grill marks, but we really want it to be like grill marks. So it looks like it was like on an actual grill. So I'm gonna leave these on there a little bit longer. Um, if you're doing this inside your house, you might wanna open up a window, but it's pretty much safe inside your house. It's just like using a stove or a hot plate. Let's check on these. See how great it has like color on it so it looks like it was on an extra grill but pretty much you have to leave it there and let it just grill you don't want to move it too much if you move it it's not going to cook properly and um it's not going to have the nice beautiful grill marks that we're looking for all right guys so as you can see right now um this is how you put grill marks on your tacos you want to make sure they have a great color on them so that's what i'm pretty much doing with the grill. I'm gonna take those off. All right guys, so here, you can see that I put all my seasonings inside this ramekin. And again, whatever household seasoning that you use, you can use it. The barbecue sauce is really what's gonna really make this um, recipe. So I'm just gonna season my chicken up. Both sides, inside of a bowl. That's good, not too much seasoning because the soy sauce and the barbecue sauce has sugars in it and it has um, other spices and salt in it as well. So we don't wanna do like a salt overload. Okay, so now that this season is seasoned, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our barbecue pulled chicken in our pot. All right guys, so I'm gonna add some olive oil to my pot. Um, I recommend that you use something that is kind of deep because what you want to do is you want to sear the chicken first and then when we add our barbecue like gravy sauce we're going to actually let the chicken cook in that so we want to kind of like slow roast but be able to boil for like at least an hour so make sure you use something that's not really a frying pan or if it is a frying pan just make sure it's deep And if you hear anything in the background, it's because I'm cooking some more chicken. So, I'm gonna put that in, just like that. And then you want to use as much chicken as what you're going to be using for your tacos. So this is like one chicken thigh. I want to use chicken thighs because I think that they're, have, they're more tender, they have more flavor to them than something that's like um, turkey breast. But if you like turkey breast, by all means, you can use that. What I did was I took this and I cut it off the thigh bone. So if you want to do that, I would recommend using dark meat opposed to white meat and then just move it around like that. Okay. 
All right, and then you want to just get like a light, a light sear on each side. I'm going to turn that over. And let it cook on the other side. I don't know, I just feel weird about putting like raw chicken into a pot with just barbecue sauce. So I like to like let it cook a little bit first and then I'll add in my barbecue sauce. There you go. All right. So now that that's cooked a little bit, we just let it stay a little bit on each side, get a little bit of flavor, really release the seasoning that we put on the chicken. All right, so again, I feel kind of weird about putting raw chicken in the pot with barbecue sauce, so I let it stay a little bit on each side. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add my barbecue sauce in. Okay. You can turn your fire down and have my fire on high. And then I'm gonna add some soy sauce to that as well. Hope you guys can see. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of water just a little bit to help it out a little bit so again this is a barbecue pulled park taco so we want to make sure that it's a good amount of barbecue sauce in there so I'm gonna just add some more so with this now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this cook to the point that the chicken becomes so tender that I can pull it apart with a fork and then I'll show you guys the results all right guys so while our barbecue chicken is cooking behind us I'm gonna show you guys how to make the Asian slaw so here I'm gonna use the purple cabbage and I'm just gonna cut off the middle. That's gonna be trash. And then we're going to just thinly slice the cabbage because the cabbage is still gonna be raw so we don't want it to be like big chunks of cabbage. So we're gonna make sure that we slice it thinly. Okay. And then this, I love using the purple cabbage because I feel like it looks so pretty on your plate, especially when you're making something like a barbecue chicken. It's brown, so you wanna make sure you add as much color as you can. So this is pretty thin. And then if you want to, you could just run it through again because it's just gonna be like a slaw. It's like a coleslaw, but it's gonna be a little Asian flair. Okay, let's take that, put it in our bowl. Just here so you guys can see it. Mmm, it smells so good. And then I'm only gonna use like a couple slices of red onion. I think red onion is like more milder than like a Spanish onion. Could use this, just slice this up as well. And add this to our bowl. And now we have our carrots. So these are already sliced thinly. I'm gonna slice them up a little bit more. Move that so you guys can see. This in half. Really want these to be. Slice. Oh, if you have like a, a carrot slicer, you can use that. Whatever's easier for you. Put that in there. 
And then again, already you can see how pretty that looks. Just with the purple and then now the orange. So I just slice them. Put that in there. I don't want too much carrots. So now we have that together. Just give that a toss. And then I'm going to use some scallion. So I'm just going to use the leafy part, the green part. And then a good trick with this is like if you're doing something Asian, you want to just kind of slice it on a bias. Me, I'm left-handed, so <laughs> I guess if you're right-handed, you would do it this way. I'm actually ambidextrous, but that's another story for another time. But I use it this way and I just slice it so that it's on a bias. And then that just look really pretty. I'm gonna show you guys how pretty that looks. See, and just add it to your salad. So it adds more of like an Asian flair to it. I want more green. Okay. So now to our Asian slaw. We're going to add a little bit of ginger. So whether you have fresh ginger or if you have ground ginger, like what I'm using, you can add that in there as well. Just a little bit. This is just for like a zing. And then we're gonna use a little bit of brown sugar. I'm gonna use just like half of a tablespoon. And that's just gonna help sweeten it up a little bit because it does have a lot of raw vegetables in there. We're gonna use a little bit of olive oil. Right on there. And then a little bit of soy sauce as well. So we're gonna take that and we're going to just Mix that all together. And this is how we make our Asian slaw. So when we come back, I'm gonna show you guys how to finally put this entire taco together. All right guys, so here is the final product of the barbecue chicken. I had it cooking for about an hour, a little bit over that, and you can see it's already falling apart. So let me show you how it looks on the plate. So I did let it cook. If you have a slow cooker, you can use that. That will probably be better. And then um, you can add water to it. Okay guys, so this is how the barbecue chicken looks after we've had it cooking for an hour. Again, if you have a slow cooker, that's even better. I didn't have one, so this is what I use as an alternative. But you can see here that the chicken it's really tender to the point that I can pull it apart with my fork, which is really good. That's what we're looking for. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull it apart, just like that. Okay. So now that that's pulled apart, now we can finally start assembling our taco Let's up our corn. Let's take our corn and we're just going to use our knife. And we're going to just take that right off the cob like that. Okay. We don't need a lot of corn. So 
So once that's done, just break it up a little bit. And again, you want the charred color on your corn. So we're gonna take that. And now we can start assembling our tacos. So we're gonna take our tacos. We're just going to put a little bit of the slaw. And I like the slaw because it's nice and wet, so you won't have like a dry taco or anything like that. And then we're gonna take some of the chicken. And a little bit more slaw. Remember what I was telling you guys about color? So remember what I was telling you guys about color? I want to zoom in so you guys can really see this. And then now we're gonna put a little bit of the corn on there. And then we're gonna garnish it with some sprigs of cilantro. I'm so excited to eat this. I'm actually really hungry. And then the cilantro is going to be not just, you know, garnished, but it's gonna add great flavor to it. Okay. Just take them and tear them off. Um, that and then last but not least I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of the slaw dressing onto that all right guys so you can tell we're making something with barbecue because my shirt is ruined so I had to put on this apron but I get to show off the apron my brother brought me when he went to Paris but so I'm so happy that you guys we're able to see how we made this pulled barbecue chicken taco with the Asian slaw. Adds a little bit of corn in there, some cilantro. <sighs> I'm telling you guys, I tried a piece of the barbecue chicken with a little bit of the slaw. So if you are on a diet and you don't want to eat too much carbohydrates, you can eat this totally without the taco or you can get one of those tacos that they use now that's made out of almonds. Yeah, that's something new. But you guys know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe. Oh. Wait, one thing. I want to try this taco. Oh my goodness, I've been waiting so long. I'm gonna get it all like that. Yeah, I'm gonna do it all with one bite. Okay. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. I'm proud of myself. I believe because I came with this recipe by myself, and this is good. Like I know I can cook, but sometimes you gotta remind yourself. Mm. Guys, you have to try this on your own. Comment, like, subscribe. Go to MissGoodiesKitchen.com. I'm not sharing this with anyone. Bye.